Welcome to my creative lab. I'm Olga Valentina and I'm gonna cook for you. What's on the menu today? Destination Japan. I'm going to make my version of the amazing all-time favorite ramen. First, the broth and that's where my twist on traditional starts. Duck. I'm in love with duck. First, let's grab two legs of duck and put it into four cups of water. A whole kimchi apple sliced like this. One onion cut into quarters. Two cloves of garlic, each cut in half. Bring everything to a boil. And then, reduce the heat to simmer. This should cook for at least an hour and a half, but the longer you cook it, the more the amazing flavors will come out. Now, you can add one third of a cup of soy sauce. Now, let's marinate the duck breasts. In a bowl, combine half a cup of sake, Half a cup of mirin, which is a sweet rice wine for cooking. Half a cup of soy sauce, or if you're doing gluten-free version, use tamari. One fourth of a cup of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of sirah cheese to spice things up, and three tablespoons of miso paste. And a bit of salt, and whisk it all together until everything is combined and smooth. I have here four duck breasts. Put them into the marinade, making sure they are nicely coated with all the delicious flavors and cover with a plastic wrap. Let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. Another necessary component is salt, but not just any salt. A pack of dried bonito, which is just dried flakes of fish. Spread them onto a baking sheet. And toast them in the oven for two to three minutes at 400. Now using mortar and pestle, we're gonna grind the bonita flakes with a tablespoon of sea salt. There are a lot of components to ramen, but to serve it properly and warm, you need to prepare everything beforehand. And like an architect, put it all together. I love nice yummy egg in my ramen. Place a pot of water on the stove. Add in four eggs. Bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to medium. Cook the eggs for exactly seven minutes. And have a bowl with ice water ready. So that the second you hear your timer, you can dip the eggs into the ice water to stop the cooking process. Let them cool in the ice for about 50 minutes. Next step is dashi, little bags of concentrate fish stock. I like to use agu dashi, which is made from flying fish, and katsuo dashi, which is made from dried bonito fish. Two cups of water, but make sure to use a big pot, because in a few minutes, we're going to combine our duck broth with a fish stock and simmer for 10 minutes. Place the strainer onto the pot with dashi and pour the duck broth in. My local Japanese market has a huge variety of dashi. I tried a bunch and played an experiment to find my favorite combination. Yours might be different. Don't be afraid to try something new and create your own ramen. Take the duck breasts out of the fridge, because we're almost there, my friends. Heat up a griddle skillet on the stove and brush it with some olive oil or sesame oil if you like. Once it heats up, place each piece of duck onto the pan, skin side down, and cook for five to six minutes on one side, then seven on the other. Set the duck aside after it's done cooking to let it rest.
While duck is resting, toss the noodles right in the broth. Toss your ramen noodles into the pot as well. I sometimes use buckwheat noodles for a gluten-free version. Cook the noodles according to the instructions on the package. Time to construct our ramen and serve. This recipe serves four. In each bowl, add one four a tablespoon of our salt mixture, along with the four pieces of menma, which is just marinated bamboo shoots. Gluten-free friends, be careful, because menma often contains soy sauce. Pour in the amazing broth. Place some noodles. Top with a big handful of soy sprouts and add sliced duck into each bowl. Some green onion and a sliced egg. Last but not least, don't forget about chopsticks! Come back to my blog for new fun cooking ideas and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Приятного аппетита!